Skills for Care's accolades recognises the very best social care providers in England. Every winner and nominee is the best of the best. The accolades are now seen as the Oscars of the social care world. I think there'll be a significant amount of whooping of joy around the office for all the hard work of everybody. Um, I think it will be an absolute, it'll be absolutely fantastic. This is just an amazing achievement. Every year, we have a celebrity presenter. TV presenter Fiona Phillips has a personal interest in social care. Skills for Care created the accolades to celebrate the excellence and commitment of England's 1.5 million social care workers. The reason that it's so important for employers to engage with this is because this is the only showcase within social care of good practice. Our sector delivers high quality care to millions of people and yet we're just not so great at telling the public how good we are. This year's event attracted a record number of entries in 11 categories. Sharon, you're a winner. What does it feel like? Stunning. <laughs> and I was nominated for Best Employer Who Employs Her Own Staff. They do different things with me. Some do personal care with me. Some take me swimming, take me to the theatre. And they've just made a lot of pressure come off my family. So we've now got a family life back again. For Alzheimer's campaigner Barbara Poynton, who cared for her husband Malcolm, it was a chance to say thanks to care workers. It's comforting to know that when I continue professional care, and I'm sure I will, I'll have a much better chance than Malcolm did of, of being treated with dignity, with respect, understanding and empathy. I will be seen as a whole person. This is the second year the accolades have been held in partnership with the Department of Health. Social Care Minister Phil Hope presented the Winner of Winners Award to Voice and Kirklees County Council. It is a wonderful uh, opportunity to celebrate success and something we should do a lot more of throughout the year, and not only once a year. Uh, and I have to say, I think what's unique about these Accolade awards, uh, awards is that they value the workforce. And I know just how important it is that we, uh, that we give the recognition and we give those people who go out there day in, day out, week in, week out, all times of the year, to give the people who need the care uh, that we're providing for them, empower people, to enable people to have choice and control over their lives, to live the independent lives that they want to lead. And it's you, it's you people that are making that happen. It was fantastic. We, we totally were totally shocked. We weren't we really expecting it. Expecting it. As As I know that people have taken notice of the work we're doing. Now it's pushing me to say I want to carry on doing yeah. stuff like this and I'm going to carry on doing it. Entries are now open for Accolades 2010 at the Dorchester Hotel. To enter, all you have to do is download an entry form from the Skills for Care website. They're so, so highly regarded by the families who, who use them or the people that they care for. And yet in society as a whole, there isn't that respect for care. There's more respect for celebrity and footballers. If they were paid as much as we regard them, then they'd be rich for the rest of their lives.